Tell us how you met Tupac. <laughs> I met Pac actually on the um, Public Enemy tour. It was like 90 um, with Queen Latifah. I was out there, I was a roadie for her, performing with her. Um, Digital Underground, he was out there doing the same. He was a roadie performing with them, coming on stage. So when we linked up there, it was like, that was the start of the, the whole thing. You know, it was like, we was out there, we was roll dogs. Every day we was together. Hanging, little little money we had, we was out getting a lot of little weed. You know what I mean? We was messing with the groupies. We was like superstars, or our own little ghetto superstars, cause we was, you know, nobody knew us, but we came on stage, freestyle, did our thing on on our own separate shows. But it was the same tour. It was like experience we ain't never seen before. We was outside the hood. You know, we was out doing something. We was, we was hustling in a legal way where we, we wasn't gonna get in no trouble for what we was doing. We was used to hustling on the, on the streets, you know what I mean? So when we got out there, we seen a whole new life together from two different hoods and two different sets, but like the same type of homies with the same mindset set out for the same things, you know? How, how did he strike you when you first met him? Like, did he really impress you with his drive and ambition? What it was, it was like we had the same thing that we were going for. And our mind stayed in a whole whole lot of ways was similar. That's why we just bonded immediately. You know what I mean? From us just rolling places, doing things, the way we felt on situations, the way we was, it, it was many times we done rolled spots, man. We done winning spots. Yo, out of nowhere, chairs is throwing, somebody banging over here on something, then we get involved because we in their way at the time and we standing back to back with chairs till both of us get up out of there type thing. You know what I mean? So it was like we done, we, we knew that we was riders from the door. You know what I mean? And we knew it wasn't nobody going to cat out and lead the next one or anytime we needed something, we could holler. If I was on his side, I call him when I land, he on my side, he call me when I land, and everything else is handled, you know what I mean? My family, his family, his family, my family. Um, how, what did you think of him as a lyricist and as a rapper? Come on, he was a prophet, <laughs> he was a visionary, he was a baby panther, he was a soldier, he was a thug, he, you know what I mean, he had all elements, you know what I mean? He was, he was, uh, he was a, a, a leader, you know, he was a schooler, he, he he taught, he didn't just, you know, he had inspirational songs. It wasn't just gangbang songs or this, he had party songs. He had songs where he was talking about the future, talking about where he seen things to be, talked about the past, talked where he needed to be and wanted to go, you know what I mean? So it was, it was never one dimensional, you know what I mean? He was hitting all types of corners and aspects and really taking it there and when you really look at it today, you really see that how, how much far ahead of his time that he really was, you know? Did he ever talk to you about starting up the Black Panthers again and getting that together? Yeah, he was just talking about revolution through the music and, and, and through the movies and letting the truth be known. Whether he was gonna do his own movies, that was, he had a lot of stuff, cause you know he was a poet, he, re he wrote poetry and everything, he wrote scripts for movies and all that type of stuff, you know what I mean? So he wanted to show the story through his talents and through the ways that he could get it out. You know what I mean? Uh, the movement is gonna come not s as so much as just starting up a certain crew or, or organization, but making a movement through the people for them to understand where you wanna go. And through your music and through movies and through you know media and everything else, that's where you could get the message out there to the masses. And that's where he was a master at. You know what I mean? Getting the people's attention and getting the masses to wanna sit and listen and find out what Tupac had on his mind and what Tupac wanted to say. You, what, what do you think um, you gave him? as far as becoming a man? I think we, what we gave each other, it, it's not even a one-sided coin, you know what I mean? It's, it's two ways. It's like, he he gave me my inspiration through movies. See, the first movie he did was Juice. And it's like, he called me up, because that was right after the tour and everything. So, like I said, we stayed on the horn anyway, even though we wasn't, you know, on the same turf or whatever. But came down was like yo come over here and do this movie i'm like man i can't get over there every day to train you telling me be there by 6 a.m i'm like man i'm in jersey it's like nah just move over here it was me rest in peace him it was um um stretch 
And Ed Lover, we was up in there, like one hotel room, just there every day, just doing this. Stretch was in the movie, we all was, you know what I mean? So he had his, like, I'm gonna get you a roll up in here. When I came out, it was like things I'd done, I had him back up in there. First, we did um, OPP, then we did Uptown Anthem. And that was like the song to the movie Juice, because the movie came out then. It's like we had, like, after we done the movie, our project had came up and, like, just blew up overnight. So with that, I'm like, yo, we're going to do a video, and you're going to be a star up in there with us. So, you know, it was like we would do things back and forth with each other, like, where we had our foot in the door already. We would bring the other one in like that, and we did that throughout our careers. Now, there's a great story about that uh, audition, that Juice audition. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you tell that story? All right, yeah, um, I had went and I had tried out for the role Bishop in Juice, the same role Tupac was playing. And so I had went beforehand. I ain't never done it. You know, um, Queen Latifah, Shaquille, and Flavor Unit, they was managing me, so they had the opportunity for me to go. So I was like, hey, I'll do it. I'll try maybe, you know, whatever. So I went up in there. Pac was in town at the same time. We actually was going together because he was like, yo, I got a chance to read that for it too. So he was going up in there too. So after I read... I was waiting for him because we was going to go hang out after, you know, we done or whatever. So he go up in there and read after I'm, and like I went up in there, I'm reading lines like, yo, you know, I'm explaining, like reading it basically, I know it a little bit, but I'm, you know what I mean, not know. He went up in there, yo, fuck that, I'm telling you, you got to learn to say, you got to put it down the streets, so you go, yo, I heard, I'm like, yo, you better get this motherfucker roll, I don't even want it no more, you know what I mean? So we, man, it's like, well, we, everything that we, we done, any way we could put the next man in it, we done it. You know what I mean? We could put our we, we put our family on, we put our homies on. It was just the the genuine love from the heart. You know what I mean? And anybody who knew him knew he was he was a great hearted, not good hearted person, a great hearted. He would if he had money, his his dogs had money. If he ate, his dogs ate. You know what I mean? Anything they seen from pussy, whatever, everybody, we all partying. We all had a fun, we all gonna go out, we all gonna live a life. If I'm living a rich life, we all gonna live a rich life. My homies ain't just gonna be starving and just out there. Y'all gonna have jobs, y'all gonna have shit to do. Y'all gonna be down with the whole movement. Y'all gonna travel, leave the hood, see something y'all never seen before. Have passports, go worldwide. That's the whole thing, you know what I mean? Bring the whole family. Family that stays together, get paid together. You know what I mean? The best thing about Pac, man, was, man, all the good times. Cause we, man, I mean, if, if you knew Pac, Pac could not, sit down long the longest he was anywhere was if it was in the studio that's the longest time he spent in a in a certain spot and even if he in the studio he'll go to the store i'll be right back and get a pack of cigarettes or you know what i mean yo what's somebody going to be on sense my fuck that i gotta you know what i mean he just up he he was just a ball you know what i mean he he just knew like there's so much he wanted to do and accomplish that he knew and he knew that he could do it if he put his mind to it, it was all in his, his mom's, Afeni, he, he loved her, you know what I mean? He used to always say stuff, man, listen, man, my dukes taught me woo, 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 and woo, woo, and, and just be putting it down. You know what I mean? Like, yo, like, he was a soldier from here. You, you seen it was the upbringing. You seen it. You know what I mean? You seen he had the fire in his eye. If you seen Pac, man, you seen it in his eye. Some, some, some people had the eye of the tiger. You know what I mean? He had the eye of the tiger. Do you think he was a happy person? Yeah, for the most part, very. You know what I mean? What 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 hurt him the most was people not understanding him. You know what I mean? And 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 painting the picture of this 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 bad guy. You know what I mean? He was like he was he was getting his whole thing with, with thug life and everything else. He was gonna grab the whole thug nation. Not just in the United States, worldwide. You know what I mean? Grabbed the whole thug nation. And once he had the thug nation, you know what I mean, and shown from the door, when when you when you get in a whole uh, 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 a whole following, it's gonna be a war in place. Cause it's gonna be another side. It's gonna be an adversary. You know, he had to know from the door, when I do the war, I gotta show them how strong of a leader I am and how much of a rider. And once I get them, then we could have a sit down. And then we'll have the thugs where they they have where they ain't in it to bang. They in it to make it a business. You know what I mean? And, and and take it over the way they should be. He knew that that all of us, as far as the urban communities, everything was concerned, we was trapped and we was caged off. You know what I mean? So we couldn't be successful. And that would, that we would kill each other. You could find anybody in a the spot, they can't get out. The only the frustration gets, you know, stays there. So he was gonna get the whole thug nation and turn it around and make it that movement.